There are a number of reasons why you would buy a Tesla. Uh, first thing is that you're avoiding the emissions, which have two problems. One is dirtying cities with diesel fumes and particulates and all sorts of other nasties. So we're going to end up with clean cities. Secondly, they're very quiet. As long as the electricity that's going into this car is coming from a green source like a wind turbine, which is the industry I work in, then we are not producing any emissions at the electricity stage either. So it's clean, cheap to run, incredibly cheap to run. Once you've got one of these things, the tax is low, the fuel is for the moment free, generally. I've been to Morocco and back and it's cost me nothing. The maintenance costs are absolutely minimal. There's nothing to go wrong in this car, really. Um, I put two tires on the car and 63,000 kilometers. That's it. My experience is the kids get this. I don't know why they get it, but they get it. This is the way transport is going. They absolutely love Tesla. They don't want to buy any other kind of car. I had some kids in the car one day and I asked them, well, now I'm going to convince you to buy one of these. They said, you don't need to convince us. Nothing beats me off the lights, apart from another Tesla. Uh, I don't have the fastest Tesla, which is the P Tesla. I was afraid of losing my driver's license having one of those things. They're absolutely mad cars. There is a chill mode in this. I use it for most driving, which means you get a nice acceleration, much faster than most of the cars without going mad. I've barely managed to spin the wheels in this car. It's four-wheel drive, of course, so the power is really neatly delivered. The four-wheel drive system is far better than any mechanical four-wheel drive system because it's power electronic driven, so it's 100 times faster. So in these snowy conditions, absolutely no problem at all. Never really had a handling problem with the car at all, and I push a car. I, I push a car. My top speed to date is 270 miles an hour, uh, and I won't say where. There is a direct connection between the steering wheel and the tyres, which means that you get very good feedback from the road. We have to charge it, obviously. I have no problem with that. Go to a charger, plug it in for half an hour, an hour, depending on the charger. Go for coffee, go to the loo, come back out, off you go. Any drawbacks? If, if, if I was to be really picky, you'd have to say that an air suspension handling isn't quite as good as my RS6. But it's only a minor thing. The handling is absolutely adequate for any performance that I've been able to throw at. I'd like to see the Tesla Charger operate their charging speed. It's currently max 120 kilowatts. They're working on 350 kilowatts. I don't know whether this car is going to be able to take 350 kilowatts or not, but they expect to shorten the charging time from about an hour, to quarters of an hour to an hour, to about 10 minutes. That would be a real cool thing to have. I really find it hard to find a negative about this car. Really, really, I have to push it to find a negative.